very good morning my dear children welcome to our online class how are you all are fine there okay do you read the uh, textbook do you remember where we stop that story the previous class we already started a beautiful story right did you read that did you understand the meaning of that word okay let's recall the story that i taken in the previous class okay are you ready with your textbook okay let's start let's read the chapter what's the name of that chapter paper ball right okay let's read down the stream anna gently walked towards the stream of muddy rain water she bent a little and launched a paper ball it sailed down the stream swiftly and proudly she went on placing a number of paper balls in the stream she was delighted suddenly something horrible happened an angry girl a fat boy pounced on one of her paper balls and pulled it he turned the ball upside down anna stared at the ball he was fat and dirty he did not mind anna's angry face anna ran home a solution anna on arindadi was sitting in an armchair anna's face was red with anger she pouted her lips and said that naughty boy he overturned my ball she said don't worry i will make another one for you on arindadi tried to console her what if he takes that one too okay then i'll make a few more for you what if he takes all of them no he won't i'll make a few for him as well but why should you make box for him he seems to be a poor child then why can't he make them himself he is so big maybe no one has taught him how to make balls why doesn't he go to school he is so rude on arindadi just smile then we stop the chapter right now let's continue the chapter or you open page number 41 and listen carefully okay good garden in no time a bot was ready and then a few more finally she gave all the bots to anna and said here go and have fun immediately her aunt arindadi made some more ball some for anna and some for that fat boy and gave it to anna and said go and play clutching the ball tightly anna Started walking resistantly 
towards the street. The boy was still there. He looked at her curiously. Anna took out two not so good boys and held them out. Then Anna took all that board and clutching the board tightly. Clutching means holding. About the very tight tight pitch Anna started walking hesitantly. Hesitantly means with shame. Korcha Madiwadubudi walking hesitantly towards the string. She walked towards the string. The boy was still there. The boy was there. Then also the boy was there. He took he looked at her curiously. The boy so Anna with many parts that he is looking curiously. Curiously means anxiously. Agam Shiyur Guri Anna Noki. Why? Because we have more words. He thought sometimes if she gives some more words to me, then Pakshi Bota will end it. Amnala will end it. Love you. And Saiti will go to it. And then Loki will go to it. Yes. Sad words. Then Anna took out Two not so good boards and held them out. Anna took two boards from that. Not too bad and not too good. Pradigam Nalagu Anna Na Toshu Malata Bortagara. She took and gave it to that boy. Then here you are. She handed the box over to the boy without a trace of a smile. She don't want to give that box to that boy. She gave only because of the compulsion of her aunt. Aunt Nirbandichirun Matra Anna Anna Abote Aboyke the boy took them and just stood there quietly. He's a poor boy. He took that two boards. He thought at least she gave this, these boards to me. I'm happy. Hmm? The boy was happy with that board. And he just stood there quietly. He did not know what to say because he is very happy and he cannot, he can't deliver any words because of happiness, because of anxiousness, okay, because of anxiety. He can't tell, he can't Utter a word. Then a true friendship. Anna gently launched her bot. Simply the bot sailed down the stream. The boy stood there watching it. A faint smile appeared on his lips. And then Anna started playing with her bot. Then what happened? Her boy sailed down the stream. The boy watching everything. And a faint smile appeared on his lips. A little smile appeared on his lips. And 
എന്ന ബോട്ട് കൊണ്ട് കളിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരുന്നപ്പോ ബോട്ടുകൾ വെള്ളത്തിൽ മുങ്ങി പോവാൻ തുടങ്ങിയപ്പോ ദ ബോയ് സ്റ്റിൽ വാച്ചിങ് ഇറ്റ് ബോയ് അതെല്ലാം കണ്ടുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നുണ്ടായിരുന്നു എ ലിറ്റിൽ സ്മൈൽ അപ്പിയർ ഓൺ ഹീസ് ലിപ്സ് അവന് ചെറുതായിട്ട് ചിരി വന്നു അന്ന ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദ ബോയ് through the corner of her eyes she was helpless and she need help of that boy and she looked at the boy through the corner of her eyes edanga nittu nokki suddenly she saw the boy getting caught in a heap of mud and stones water splashed against it and slowly flooded it in a flash the boy jumped into the stream and pulled the boat out of the water he gave it to anna then her uh, boat filled with muddy water and stones and it began to it began to stop flooded it began to move down to the water in a flash the boy jumped into the stream and pulled the boat out of the water he gave it to anna what the boy did he jumped into the water and took the boat safely and gave it to anna she took the boat and smiled now she became very happy she understood the boy was poor and kind then she became very happy she smiled the boy smiled back pleasantly the boy also became very happy when anna smiled to him Anna gently placed another boat in the stream. It sailed swiftly and drifted past. Soon, it was out of sight. Then Anna gently placed another boat in the stream. It sailed swiftly and drifted past. Soon, it was out of sight. it floated fastly anna and the boy looked at each other and smiled then they become good friends right okay now here the story ends do you like the story okay now i will read the portion that i took this class all of you listen to your textbook and uh listen the pronunciation of all words okay let's read good guidance in no time a boat was ready and then a few more finally she gave all the pots to anna and said here go and have fun clutching the pots tightly anna started walking hesitantly towards the stream the boy was still there he looked at her curiously Anna took out two not so good boards and held them out. Here you are. She handed the boards over to the boy without a trace of smile. The boy took them and just stood there quietly. He did not know what to say. a true friendship anna gently launched her boat swiftly the boat sailed down the stream 
The boy stood there watching it. A faint smile appeared on his lips. Anna looked at the boy through the corner of her eyes. Suddenly, she saw the bot getting caught in a heap of mud and stones. Water splashed against it and slowly flooded it. In a flash, the bot jumped into the stream and pulled the bot out of the water. He gave it to Anna. She took the bot and smiled. The boy smiled back pleasantly. Anna gently placed another bot in the stream. It sailed swiftly and drifted past. Soon it was out of sight. Anna and the boy looked at each other and smiled. Okay? Understood this story? Okay, all of you read the story at least three times and study the spelling of new words well. Okay? Today, you have a simple homework. Take page number 46, activity 2. Read the following sentences and write the word opposite in the meaning to the word underlined. In the space provided, complete the puzzle using these words. This is a simple homework. You only want to uh, find out the opposite words of the underlined words and write in the given spaces and also complete the puzzle with these words. I think all of you understood the homework. These words in the opposite words are dash right here. That's why you say don't. With the help of that, you also want to complete the puzzle given in page number. 46. Okay? Is it a simple homework? Um, here the words are not underlined. So, you should underline it now. Okay? Take pencil and underline. First sentence, Anna is small but the boy is dash. There you want to write the Opposite word of small. Underline small. Then the second one. Anna learned dash habits from her aunt. She doesn't like bad habits. There you want to underline bad. Anna's father started for Third question, Anna's father started for his office at dash and returned home at desk. You want to underline the word desk. Then, fourth question, the boy launched his board, board during the day. He dreamt about it at dash. You want to Underline the word day. Then fifth question. The boy pulled the bird. Anna became sad. Aunt made boards. Anna became dash. You want to underline the word sad. Okay. I think all are clear about this homework. All of you do it well. And send, send it to me as early as possible, okay? Now, 
Let's conclude our class. Let's meet with the activities of paper board in the next class. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.